the narcissist goading when they're looking to gain a desired reaction from you that works in that narcissist's best interest. Narcissistic people are incredibly exploitative people and they will exploit your emotions to their advantage, to work in their favour as they lack the empathy to care for how their behaviour affects you. They just feel entitled to get their own way. So one way a narcissistic person will goad you is if you're wanting to go out somewhere and they're fearing you abandoning them, they might start coming at you with all those false accusations. What are you wearing that for? Who have you dressed up for? Where are you going looking like that? In order to get you to defend yourself to them. And you might just be meeting up with your friends and family. Yeah, they're going to, you might be going out to work. However, they're going to make you feel that terrible within yourself that you feel a need to change your appearance to serve them. You feel a need to apologise to them, to defend yourself to them, to allow them to track you on your phone, to prove that you're not doing anything to hurt them. Usually to distract you from the very things that they are doing to you, which is controlling you and isolating you. A narcissistic person will go to you by provoking fear within you. So they can simply just threaten to divorce you. I don't, who's going to put up with you? I think we should get a divorce. And because of your belief system and because you care about them, you don't want a divorce. So you change who you are time and time again to suit them, to serve them, to please them. So they can get that desired reaction from you. You say no, they threaten divorce. You say yes, they get what they want from you. You work harder to please them. Yet as soon as you turn around to them and say, okay, yes, I agree. I think we should get a divorce. They suddenly change the game and start begging and pleading with you. How they didn't mean it. It was just a joke. They're going to goad you by annoying you, by creating the atmosphere, by creating the argument, by just chipping away at you slowly until you react to them. And we all have our limits. We can react badly. However, when a narcissistic person reacts, you make them react. When you react, you feel bad for reacting and apologise to them and do all you can to make it up to them. So you can be in one of the best moods and a narcissist can walk in in one of the foulest moods. And they're going to annoy you, they're going to taunt you, they're going to trap you into bringing your mood down. And then when they've brought you crashing down, they're going to turn around and say, oh, what's wrong with you? What's your problem? Oh, have you had a bad day? And they suddenly feel all smug and happy and walk off humming and singing away to themselves because they got the desired reaction from you. Guilt trips. They're going to guilt you into feeling bad for them so that you help them or so that you stop doing something that is productive for you. You might have work to do and you need to get whatever project it is done. And they're going to sit there going, oh, well, if that's more important to you than I am, you never want to spend any time with me. You know, after everything I've been through, I could just do with going out for a couple of hours. I thought I could rely on you. So you put to one side something that is important, that those who cared about you would recognise is important to you 
and say, that's fine, you do that, and we'll get together as soon as you've finished it. A narcissistic person isn't interested in this. They're interested in sabotaging you and getting their own way with you. They're envious of people, so they don't want to help people do well. They want to help people struggle and suffer. They're going to humiliate you. They can humiliate you in front, in front of friends and family. And then when you're annoyed with them, they're going to turn around and say, well, I was only joking. What's your problem? You're too sensitive. They can come and simply just jab you in the side, claiming to be tickling you and do it harder and harder. And then when you let them know it's hurting, they're only messing around. You can't take the mess around. You can't take the joke. And then they walk off sulking and don't talk to you for the rest of the day. So you're the one that's left feeling bad for reacting in a manner that's in proportion to the circumstances. They're going to make you feel bad. And often they do this because they don't want to talk to you for the day. So if they can make out that that's your fault, then you're the one that's going to have to play nice and make it up to them. You could have something planned. You could have something planned to go out with them somewhere they don't want to go. So they're going to ruin it before the day's even begun. Intrigue. Narcissistic people tell that many lies and they refuse to tell you the simple things that the majority of healthy people do tell each other. They keep their phone on them at all times, their lock screen with no preview messages showing. They don't tell you where they are. They don't tell you where they're going. They expect to know where you are and where you're going, but they don't tell you. You don't need that information, even if they are just going to work. They will purposefully sit in a car for half an hour, just to be half an hour late, just to cause that intrigue within you. So when you ask them, where have you been? Or why do you need to know where I've been? You've got trust issues. So they can twist it around onto you. They are going to cause that intrigue within you. And then when you go searching for answers, they're going to say, you've got issues. You've been through my things. You've looked through my phone. You might have found something that they're doing that is untoward. And they're not going to be willing to discuss this. They're just going to discuss how you're the one that's been through their phone. And if you feel like you need to go through somebody's phone, you should not be with that person. Because if you were with somebody you felt secure with, you would not feel a need to go through their phone. If you have things that you're working through, you'd be able to say to somebody you can trust, can I just have a look at your phone? And they'd be, yep, sure. Or they might say, there's work data on there, so just don't go on the work things. But yeah, sure. Narcissistic people are the ones that are going to cause that intrigue and not allow you. And then when you do, you might just walk past and see something. They're going to come at you and attack you. When it comes to a narcissistic person, they are going to goad you into getting that reaction from you because then that is proof within their mind that you are the one with the problem so that they do not have to deal with the problem so that they don't have to recognise their behaviour so they don't have to face the consequences of their actions. And the more we react to a narcissistic person, the more they know exactly what buttons to push within us. A narcissist will use the things that you care about the most as these are the things that you will most passionately defend. And that's what they're looking for, to get you on the defensive so that they don't have to justify or explain themselves to you. It's normal to want to react when somebody is goading us. And it can be very difficult, depending on the circumstances, to stay calm and stay quiet. However, when dealing with a narcissist, we have to stop and retreat and rethink the situation in its entirety and not give them the reactions they are looking for. Instead, we need to recognise the person for who they are and not who they sold themselves to be. Recognise that we cannot control it, we cannot change it. No matter how much we change ourselves, 
to help ourselves in that situation. A narcissist is playing that many games we don't know anything about. The best way to deal with a narcissist is to walk away, to stop giving them those reactions and safely because some narcissistic people will take it to a whole new level. When you break free, all hell seems to break loose around a narcissist as they try to regain control. No one throws a bigger tantrum than a narcissist losing control of somebody else's mind. If anyone has any thoughts on this video, please do add those into the comments. Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continued support with the channel is greatly appreciated. If you are new to the channel, I'm Elizabeth Shaw. This channel is all about narcissistic behaviour. To give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with within your life, how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot give no contact and different methods to find what works for you to help you understand and overcome narcissistic and emotional abuse. If you do find the information helpful on the channel, please do subscribe. If you are looking for further help and support in understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse, I do have several online guides available and those teachable links are in the video description. If you're looking for someone to speak to, I have partnered with BetterHelp and their sponsor. The link is also in the video description. Go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an amazing day. Bye.